Hey, folks, when I first started NFL Network back in 2003, there was a large chorus of complaints from a lot of National Football League players that the word voluntary was um, really the word for it was mandatory. That uh, the only thing that was voluntary about any activities was for you to volunteer to say yes, <laughs> to do it. And so when the National Football League and the players had that lockout in 2011, one of the things that the, the league said to the players, fine, you may have, <laughs> maybe because it didn't really cost them any dollar and cent to say was, we will make the voluntary voluntary and the mandatory is a date in April by which you show up for an off-season workout program. And then there will be some incentive-based stuff that's uh, in the language and of your contracts in order for you to appear there if you want. Uh, you get more money for weighing in and doing things. But uh, the only thing that is mandatory is a couple of organized team activities. The rest of them will be voluntary. By the way, OTAs, I always thought like that, that must not have stood for organized team activity, but that's what it stands for. What did you think it stood for? Oh, well, you know organized training, whatever the hell it was. I had no idea when I first started with NFL Network, organized team activity. And that's the way it's been up until the present day, where the off-season workout program started in April and players are not, uh, they don't have to be in the building. And as a matter of fact, you're, you're not allowed to have contact with them in certain periods of the spring. And that playbooks, you can't really hand them a playbook and get them physically in the playbook until the organi- the, the uh, off-season workout program begins in April. Because otherwise, players could – coaches would want these players in the facility 24-7, 365. Yeah. So they had to codify it in this way. Yep. Now, according to my colleague Tom Pelissero of the NFL uh, Media Group, I think he was the first to report this yesterday. If he wasn't, I apologize to the person who was. But – Uh, The NFLPA is going to make a proposal this summer to take the current OTA system, condense it, and move it to before training camp in June. So one big ramp up to training camp to games in the fall. Meaning, I guess, May would be the fallow period where nothing's happening this month, where nothing would be happening. Yeah, right now it's June. Right. And that you'd be able to uh, get, I guess, players on Zooms, like... So, as Pelissero said in my text, let's say players arrive June 16th. Two weeks of strength and conditioning would be phase one. Two weeks of light football work would be phase two. Two weeks of non-padded padded practices like OTAs, they currently have its phase three. Then into a traditional training camp starting around August 1st, which is soonest anybody's in pads now anyway. They would do virtual classroom work in the spring, just nothing on the field, no workout program. And I'm like, you know, how how is this any better? Yeah. He says the league and union science supports the single ramp up, less soft tissue injuries. They did it in 2020 for COVID. League people seem to be fine with it. Players need to vote on it. It's not finalized, still needs to pass votes by the union before it even goes to the league, but that's more or less what it would look like. Some vets oppose it. So no playoff means basically February, March, April, May off? Of on-field work. But you would do Zoom, I guess in the stuff. same way in, in, in April or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So take the organized team activity on-field work of May and a little bit of June, condense it, and throw it towards the end of June. And, and so July would be nonstop in camp, which is exactly why... I believe coaches will go nuts about this and GMs wanting it or not wanting it, not wanting it because this is when they go on vacation, the (laughs) two weeks that they actually get to be away from stuff. Yeah. Cause the spring, you know, as soon as the the season's over, it's evaluation and getting ready for, for the combine and then for the draft. And then once the draft hits, you've got, on field work and then once the on field work hits i guess well, the you could tough. remove what you'd move the 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 dead period where you can go on vacation in may I, would there be I no guess. rookie camp now and all that just gets lumped into june i imagine i guess we're we're just all coming up with the idea here but i honestly like 
coaches and GMs and front office people, they get they get married in July. Like, that's when weddings happen and big events happen because that's when they get time off. I guess you'd have to figure out when the dead period for those folks would be. Hmm. Yeah, Breer tweeted out that this proposal for those people went over like the Hindenburg is what he yeah. said on Twitter. I, I, That's which Steve Weich of NFL Media Group pushed back on Twitter saying, I think you have to explain to a lot of people who, who, what the Hindenburg <laughs> is. I, I, I oh, can't the see, humanity. I can't see players really liking to see there. But uh, apparently some, some really do. It's just like, don't put me on the field. Now, the issue with not putting anyone on the field year-round or, or I, I guess – they're saying it's less soft tissue injuries, which is big. Yeah. But I don't know. Like fewer and fewer practices means less and less time to actually get on the same page. And all of these off-season workouts that are private workouts of quarterbacks having their own camps, they do that for a reason. Uh, I, I just don't know how less practice time throughout the year means better football in the, in the fall. But maybe I guess it means better football in the fall if it's healthier players throughout the spring are going to be staying healthier in the fall. I guess that's what the science says. I can't imagine a, a eight, nine, ten year vet would be would want this. Well, he, suddenly they, they, starting in mid June instead Tom of Tom is saying August. some some vets oppose it, but yeah. it has majority support based on feedback so far. Mm, interesting. Mm. I guess as long as the check's clear, right? <laughs> I guess, and that you stay healthier. But, man, you know, weeks one and two of the NFL season just look so choppy every now and then, more often than not. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.